Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Angels Fallen Warriors of Peace, and this is a brand new action adventure fantasy horror thriller, according to IMDb, and this film is from director Ali Zamani, and this focuses on an Iraq War veteran who receives a calling from a higher power and must take on a mission to stop a fallen angel from leading a army of the living dead trying to take over the world yeah this is some crazy stuff and this one was very interesting because there's fleeting moments where i really feel like zamani is channeling some really inspired filmmaking like the opening sequence of this film i feel like legitimately has some interesting shots some thrilling elements and it's this war sequence that has a very dynamic approach to looking at it. When you look at the CGI creatures and stuff that start to mount throughout the film, they're simple, but for a movie with such a small budget, don't look the worst. But then there's also elements of this film that give off, like, Mortal Kombat Annihilation vibes, and you're just like, okay, now we're really seeing this big, high-concept, fantasy film really struggling, crippling under the weight of its budget. It's one of those kinds of things where it has fleeting moments of thrilling, interesting elements, and even in specific sequences, like, there's fight scenes where it's like, oh, there's some cool choreography there, but then that's over-edited. And there's a lot of inconsistencies about this film and what's really working about it and what's not working about it. In general, plot-wise, everything is overdone, ridiculous, convoluted, highfalutin fantasy. It feels like it's like there's just so much exposition dumps throughout this film and there's so much over-explaining to make it even possibly conceivable for you to be able to follow along with the film and that's a lot and that really takes you out of the film and then you have some of the casting because a lot of the actors in this film are unknowns amateur actors probably people you haven't really seen in much but then the three core performers that you do recognize you have Cuba Gooding Jr. who has had moments where like he really had some strong acting i don't know if this is necessarily it he plays balthazar who's kind of like the obi-wan kenobi of this hero's journey exposition exposition jump dumb city you have denise richards who plays like their like arm specialist to the secret society and like it's such an odd choice. She's really committing to it, but I don't know how to feel about the performance. And then Randy Couture's in it, who's not a good actor. And it's just like, when he's not being physical, it's not really doing a whole lot with it. This film tries to dig into some deeper, more emotional elements, add layers and depth to these characters and connections, it just doesn't feel earned or impactful in a meaningful way. It has crazy, fantastical elements to it, which, like I mentioned before, are pretty inconsistent. The filmmaking is pretty inconsistent. I don't think anything about this film is wholly great. There's a lot of inconsistencies and then not and then elements that really aren't working. So in the end, I think this is a very overwhelming in terms of processing kind of film and underwhelming in terms of what you get out of it. But there are some cool elements about it, and I would like to see a film where it's a little bit leaner and a little less overly complicated and convoluted, and maybe see what Zamani does with some of those filmmaking flares that he has here. So in the end... This, if like you're really into crazy fantasy films and you can just eat that all up, here's another film for you. Most people, this is going to be a giant question mark. But those are my thoughts on 
Angels Fallen, Warriors of Peace. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.